So for diagnostic tests, there's one primary diagnostic test that will be done and it's called a GH suppression test. This test is also known as a glucose loading test, which makes sense, right? There's an imbalance in the GH, so the GH levels are going to be tested. In a person with giantism, the baseline GH levels in this test will be high. For the medical management of this disorder, there are a few things that are done. There is oftentimes surgery or radiation because the usual cause of this disorder is a tumor or hyperplasia, which needs to be dealt with. After treatment, it is possible that the patient will need hormone replacement because treatment can cause too little of these hormones to be released. Wait, don't go just yet. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website to access more great, easy to follow videos. Don't worry, Nursing Study Buddy will be posting free videos for our YouTube subscribers and a wide variety of snippets from our video library at nursingstudybuddy.com. Nursing Study Buddy was designed for those nursing students and current nursing students who are struggling with their educational experience. So if you're a pro, whiz, Einstein, or even Stephen Hawking's nephew and have no trouble studying and acing your tests and quizzes, nursingstudybuddy.com is not for you. With new videos being added every week, what are you waiting for? Visit nursingstudybuddy.com and sign up for a one day free trial and put some free time back in your life by cutting down your study time while improving your test scores. We'll see you there.